Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this adorable? Little Christmas tree quilt. This is a quick and easy project and I can hardly wait to show you how to do it. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need are 14 squares, 10 inch squares of a tree colored fabric and we have used Emerald Forest for Wilmington uh, and it's just a great mishmash of green colors perfect for this kind of project. Now, you heard me say you only need 14 to make this, and that is true. I love pre-cuts, so I buy a pre-cut, but what that means for me is I'm gonna make two quilts out of that pre-cut because it only takes 14. We're gonna need some background fabric. Um, that's all this white in here. You can see there's a lot of background in there, and you're gonna need three and a half yards. You're gonna need a little tiny piece, actually an eight and a half inch square of brown for the trunk, and yellow for the star. And um, I just used an extra 10 inch square I had laying around and an uh, eight and a half inch square of, of uh, brown. Now, if you're buying those in yardage, you probably have to buy quarter yards, which are, is plenty, plenty big. Your outer border is gonna be one and a quarter yards. And this is a five inch outer border, um, five inch unfinished. So it'll be four and a half inch finished. Your binding is three quarters of a yard and your backing is five yards. And uh, we did vertical seams on this, so you're gonna need five yards for that. And you're also gonna need a little tiny piece of heat and bond. This is heat and bond light. And we have a little, little square that we cut out uh, to make our star because our star is just ironed on. So it makes it quick and easy. This quilt, you'll notice the Christmas tree blocks are actually made out of chevron blocks. And so that's half square triangle. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna do the easy eight for this project because we'll get two blocks out of each square. And basically we're gonna take our two 10 inch squares right here and we're gonna draw a line quarter to quarter, corner to corner like this. And did you notice how festive I am? I'm using red, red pen on my green Christmas tree. So festive. All right, here we go. Draw my line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to sew on either side of these lines, both of them right here. So we'll come over here and sew a quarter of an inch on either side of the line. There we go. Now I'm just going to sail down this side. When I get to the end, I'm just going to pivot just like that. Turn around and go down the other side. All right, then we're going to so do the same thing on the other side. And one more pivot, and we are over here. All right, now the trick to the Easy Eight is all in the cutting. So um, we've sewn on either side of those lines, and now we're gonna cut it four times. The first cut, is going to be in half both directions. And so you wanna make sure that your ruler, this is our five inch ruler, so it works great with the pre-cuts, but it should go right through that crisscross right there. And we're gonna turn it this way as well. And then we are going to cut diagonally both directions. So lay your ruler corner to corner. And over here, whoop, if they move, just get them back as close as you can. If, it's, if they're too far gone, then you can just cut them one at a time. All right, so now we have eight of these. You're gonna to wanna to square these to four and a half. And so I have my little uh, trimmer right here. I'm gonna match my four and a half inch stitch line right on the edge. And it looks like these have come out perfectly. So I'm home free, my quarter in it of an inch worked, and they're just perfect, nothing to trim. So I'm just going to iron all these back like this. Now, as I mentioned before, there are, it takes 
uh, four of these to make each block. So you'll get two blocks every time you sew, do the easy eight, you'll get two separate blocks out of them. All right. Couple more to iron and we're good to go. And then I'll show you how to make that chevron block. All right. The chevron block, this is what it looks like right here, and it's super easy. You're going to sew two half square triangles together with the color and two half square triangles together where the white comes together in the middle. So just like that, we're going to put two together where the color comes together like this, and then two right here where the white comes together, and that makes your chevron block right there. And you're just going to sew these two and these two and then sew the entire block together. Now I have a bunch of these made. So let me show you how this is going to go together. We're going to take a look at the quilt because our first top peak right out here, this one, let me move this chair a little bit. This one right here, there's one, the next one is two, then three, four, five, six, seven. It goes seven pieces of cro across. And so what we're going to do is when you put this whole block together, this whole block ends up being eight and a half. So we're going to cut eight and a half inch strips to put out from the sides on these. So big, long strips, they um, change in four inch increments. And so this one down here is just going to be a tiny little four inch piece or four and a half inch. I'm sorry, four and a half inch increments. This is going to be a tiny little piece and then it goes four inches more, four inches more. And so I, um, I can give you some of those measurements. We're going to go with, uh, they're going to be 12 and a half, 16 and a half, 20 and a half, 28 and a half. And so it just, you're going to put a big strip on either side of this one chevron. Then it's time to add our little star on top. You're going to, you're going to put a big eight inch border all the way across here. We're going to add our little star. So to make this little star, we've provided a, um, a printout for you that you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to uh, trace. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our heat and bond fabric and on the side that's shiny and sticky, you're going to put that on the wrong side of your fabric. Now on a yellow solid, there's no right or wrong, so it won't matter. Then we're going to iron that on. So let's, let me come over here and we'll just iron this on right here. You want to make sure that your piece is just slightly smaller than your square. And I'm just going to press this. You hold it about I don't know, two or three seconds, you're going to want to go over it. Make sure that it holds on. The instructions are all on the paper. So it's, you'll know just what to do. And then um, the little, the little printout that we give you is a half a star. So let me show you where that is. Right here. So what I did was I folded my little star in half like this. I mean, my, my fabric in half, and then I just trace the star around it. So let's do that. So I've got this. You're just going to trace the legs. Oh, oh, I keep wanting to slide off that line. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this out. I'll get my scissors here. And um, just leave it folded in half and go ahead and make your cuts and it, it'll make just the perfect size star. And one of the trip, tricks for cutting out a star like this is you want to look at your point, see where your point's going to end up because you don't want to go cut, 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 cut. You want to do one long cut. So you're going to put it on there, aim it where the point is, and then just do one long cut. And that will help keep your star much more crisp looking. See, now I had to go in there and cut one more, but I'm hoping it's good. There we go. So then, when you open it up, you have this great little star to sew on the top, which you are then going to peel off the back and iron it on to your quilt. See, all the sticky stuff from the peel is now on our fabric, and we'll just iron that onto our quilt right here. And then you're going to sew around it with a um, buttonhole stitch or a... Uh, applique stitch, little zigzag, whatever you want to do to do that. Um, for the trunk, you're going to take an eight inch square, eight and a half, I mean, which is just the same size as all of our other squares. We try to keep all these sizes really similar so everything lines up really well. 
eight and a half inch brown square for the trunk. And we've put, two, again, two long strips along either side so that, uh, so that the trunk is just right at the bottom. It's perfect right there. And we're gonna put a long strip on either side. So that makes it perfect. Now, I thought this was really fun and really a cute little project, but I started wondering, what would this look like if I didn't do um, chevron blocks? So here's my chevron block right here. And I've got my two, my two colors sewn together and my two whites sewn together. And I thought, what if I turned these like this and made a pinwheel? What if I did a pinwheel tree? What would that look like? And since I had way enough in my 10 inch pack to do that, I decided to find out. So I made this a second one with pinwheels. So this is what it looks like. It's right here. Misty, if you'll help me hold this up. Here we go. So take a look at this one. How cute is that with the pinwheels? So you know there's a million things you can do with half square triangles and just by changing out how you laid them out, you get a whole different look. So I thought it was really fun. Actually, help me hold up the trunk here so they can get a good look at this trunk. And again, everything is just eight inch square with these long strips. This has a little, the little strip by it and they grow bigger and bigger by four inch increments. I mean, four and a half. So it just is a really quick way and fun way to make a really darling holiday tree. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.